guys, we're back. I'm here with my brother Rob. Uh, we're gonna share with you guys, all based off of the previous video that we had on our YouTube channel, is going from the back mount into the crucifix position. It's very common that when we end up on the weak side, which was in our previous video, two previous videos, uh, that we ended up on the weak side. If the person is able to put their back to the mat, but we are able to gain the control over the far arm, they're gonna go right into a crucifix position. So, if I have my brother here, back mount, we're back on the weak side again. We did control the far arm here. Uh, and as we started to attack for the choke, he starts to defend. Of course, uh, to get a better angle to be able to trap this leg, if I stay glued to him, it's gonna be difficult. I'm not, I'm pretty flexible, but I'm not that flexible, right? So it's gonna be hard. So we wanna make sure we kind of push him away and get a little higher. And once he does that, I'm gonna have a better position to be able to break this grip off and then hide that behind. Now, if he's able to uh, get past my hook and get his hips over my hook here and get all the way to the floor, you'll see that he's ended up in a crucifix position. My legs are figure forward on the far side and I still have control over the arm on this side. It's very common that as I start to go for the choke here, he's gonna push back into me again, drive into me to defend the choke, right? And when he does that, we can always transition back to the back mount again, but with this leg still controlling and trapping the far arm. All right, one more time. So we're back in the weak side, back control position. We fall to this side, okay? We kick him away a little bit. When he starts to defend that choke, we bring the foot in, we kick it, trap. He starts to escape by putting his back to the mat. But because of the arm being trapped, he's in a crucifix now. I'm still going to continue to try to choke him from this position. His defense to that is to bridge into me to put all his weight. That does make it more difficult to finish. So we're going to take that bottom leg. Knee goes to the outside of his hip. That's going to allow me to shrimp and push off and get my hips out. Hook comes in. The other foot stays behind his back so we keep it trapped. And we go right back to the choke or go right back to the arm bar based off of the previous technique, all right? In our previous video, we showed the choke arm bar combination, which plays right into this uh, position. Sounds good. Everything goes together well. Yep. So, cool. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Give us a like if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you got any questions, and we'll see you on the next video.